Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Um, this craft is supposed to be an SSTO. This this is actually the craft that I made a while back when I was doing a real quick video as well. I believe that these videos now, because I'm just so freaking restrained on time, are go is going to have to be me talking like this and with very little editing but i'll try to make it as fun and delectful as possible um this didn't quite make it into orbit and the reason was because the extra weight as well as it had a little too much uh liquid fuel in there so what we're going to do is we're going to uh take is that our, no yeah okay mono propellants out of the one what we're going to do is we're going to take a no you know what instead of just taking liquid fuel out of there how heavy is this bitch this bitch is somewhere around here this sucker is nine so it's 0 0.9 huh if i remember correctly we had something like almost 150 plus liquid fuel left over after getting into space but not into orbit so i'm going to take these off it's not going to feel very realistic after I do this, unfortunately, because I wanted something that was realistic. So this is kind of like an engine, right? But it's, it's not it's something. We're going to go ahead and put a this one on both sides. Like that. Like that. And itty bitty little, it's like a tiny little jet engine. I mean, I don't even know. You know what? I'm just I'm just not gonna think. It's it's better this way. Better if I don't think from my face. I was about to eat it. Uh, I'm gonna use these Mark Zero. Wow, there's a Mark Zero. <laughs> Damn, uh, Mark Zero liquid fuels, and this is all that the jet engines are gonna use, right? So we're gonna make those streamline. If we have the part, I believe we have the. Oh, yep, there we go. Okay. Okay, we're gonna make those streamline. Gosh, damn it. That is a real... Get back over there, you little fucker. What about... Let's check down here. Down here is a torque. Tells you if your center of mass is lined up with your center of thrust. That's a 21.0 torque, which means somewhere around here is not lined up like it's supposed to. Oh, that makes it worse. Well, shit. Now, can we fix this? This right here is just... Yo, uh, la, 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 la. I would, uh, it's just, mm, it's just, nah, it's just, ew, brother, ew, uh, well, let's do this, let's try, see if we bring these up, oh, okay, okay, bring torque down, ooh, torque's almost at nothing, torque is okay, and with the jet engines off, the, Torque engine, torque engine, what the fuck? The torque is okay. Okay, cool. So this this little thing here has helped out a lot. It it looks cool and well, let's bring it in just a little Oh <sighs> Control Z. Thank you, Control Z. You saved my life, Control Z. This is a little wonky, not gonna lie. And also we want some shielding, because if this thing's gonna actually be an SSTO. I want it to be kind of realistic when it comes to shielding. I wonder if I can just use these. Now, yes, in, in Kerbal Space Program, as I've said a billion times before, the engines are unrealistically very heat proof. <laughs> so they you won't have to worry about them popping, but we want it to be to want it to look kind of realistic ish. In that case, every engine needs a kind of heat shield I mean we could we could play it off we could play it off as this being like a heat shield ish kinda yeah mm. uh, I mean uh, no it's just it just doesn't work it this right here just it doesn't look good I mean I'm sure some people think oh it looks cool it, it, trust me it could look much better it could look so much better. Plus, it messes with the lift. Screw it. I'll just, I'll just keep it as is. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Well, we're going to find out the hard way, huh? We're just going to take this, flip it up. Like that, okay. Going to make it red with the, with the blink on. Okay, this one too. Red with the blink on. Okay. Okay, now they should be the same on both sides, but... 
since this side needs to be green, I will remove symmetry and click on the green. Remove symmetry and click on the green. Okay, boom, done. All right, before we get started, this TUFX bull crap. Disable, 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 disable. Gosh, damn it. I know there's a way you can go into folders and set this up, but why in the hell is it all enabled any damn way? What creator thought that was a good idea to have all your stuff blurred and smeared all the damn time? Why? What's wrong with having shit clear? Clear. Anyway, full power. 10 degrees. Oh, hey, shit, where are you going? So right now we are T minus 1 minute 57 seconds. Now we only have 486 meters per second left over. I don't think that's going to be enough. Here we go. So close. Okay. All right, let's try this. There you go. There you go. All right. SSTO for the win. 200 plus meters per second left over. Wow. And this is in the career mode with Panthers. Huh. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about this, of course, like, oh, well, how far back can you go with the, the SSTO? When can you actually make an SSTO in, in Kerbal Space Program 1 in career mode? As soon as you get this bad boy right here, you can make an SSTO. The swivel engine by itself has enough delta V. Well, not delta V, excuse me, that's, that comes with fuel tank. Blah, the, the, it has enough oomph to get enough delta V into space and back. It's called a rocket SSTO. Oh, I forgot to put these on command. Well, oops. All right, let's 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 see if we can land this thing back at the KF say. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is it? What happened? The thing didn't come out. Oh, the thing didn't come out. Oh, no. Who was it that died? Not on my watch, damn it. Gosh, damn it. All right. Uh, fuck. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna have to do this again. 44 minutes already recording this shit. Gosh, damn it.
I was trying to make it look cool for everybody. I was trying to make it look cool for everybody. Okay, well, there you go, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. If you liked this video, please leave a like. And if you loved it, please subscribe. And if you want to, we got a membership program as well. And, of course, the bell notification doohickey and whatnot. And, yes, I am starting to look into merch. I am, I've never been someone who's been into merch or doing merch stuff but I've been getting so many requests for me to put my art out there on towels, t-shirts, mugs, and whatnot that it's becoming to the point where I can't, I can't ignore it anymore. You're shoving it down my face. Here's our science. This is where we're at right now. This is where we're at right now. We had SSTOs right, right, right around here. Uh, when we unlocked, like I said, the swivel engine and the fuel tank there she is i think yep the fire stick well they called it the fire stick but it's you know why is it called a z moose single stage dwarf experimental small hall experimental craft fire stick okay i don't know anyway it's been too long <laughs> so there it is that's your that's the first s i even made a short about it so if you want to look at that Go ahead. It's on the channel. I don't make a whole lot of shorts, so if you click on the channel and look for shorts, you probably find it. it'll be right there. So, there you go. Yeah, when you just... Boom. Done. Yeah. Fucking get it over with. And, of course, the Starbucks, when we were into trying to do it with wings, instead of having to go up there on the launch pad, we could go from... And I, this is a little bit newer Firefox. Firefox? What? Damn. Starbucks? Gosh, damn it. I, uh... Yeah, it, this is when we unlocked the steerable landing gears. Before then, I think our first Starbox only had like, what was it? What are these? Was it these right here? That's it. You can you can take these and you can put them like this, and you could you could angle whoa, and you can angle them like this. And uh, since they're, you know, rated for high impact, it worked. And when they're at, they don't create a whole lot of drag. Surprisingly, when they're in this configuration, they don't create a whole lot of drag. If you had them. Like this, yeah, you create shit ton of drag, but the other way around, fuck. <laughs> the other way around, not so much drag. It's weird. So yeah, I think our first one was like that. But anyway, that's it for everybody. I mean, for now. And um, it's it, it took an hour, six minutes, and seven seconds to record all this. And it's going to take another hour to edit it. If I can... Do it where I can make it under everything under two hours? Gosh damn, two hours. <laughs> uh, uh. We'll see. All right, everybody. Love you all. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bleh.